My name is uh, Lieutenant John Forster. I'm the commanding officer of the Coast Guard Cutter Sturgeon Bay. So currently the Sturgeon Bay is engaged in Operation Reliable Energy for Northeast Winters. It is the Coast Guard's region-wide effort to ensure Northeast communities have the security, supplies, energy, and emergency resources they need throughout the winter. The historic temperatures that we're experiencing right now has produced ice as thick as one foot in some areas. And on a day-to-day -day basis, we're escorting uh, commercial vessels carrying goods and supplies and home heating oil ports along the Hudson. We're helping assist them if they get set in the ice and are unable to move at all. And we're also clearing the path for them uh, along this waterway as they're trying to trans up and down the river. For most days, we've been uh, getting underway uh, just after dawn and then pulling back in uh, right around sunset. Uh, a lot of the cargo that's coming up and down the Hudson right now is home heating oil. And that's vitally important for such a cold winter as we're experiencing right now to the homes throughout New England and the rest of the Northeast region. Um, Chief Postmate Michael Hall, stationed on the Coast Guard Cutter Sturgeon Bay, home ported in beautiful Bayonne, New Jersey. Uh, 140 icebreakers at this vessel is called the uh, Bay Class Icebreaker Harp Tug. They're uh, uniquely designed to break heavy ice. Uh, we can break up to 28 inches continuous steaming three feet backing and ramming, and there are certain aspects about the hull design, hull design that make this uh, possible. We have heavier plating on the bow and along the keel. The bow shape is a bit more rounded than most vessels to allow us the ice to kind of slide underneath. Uh, we also have frames of the ship that strengthen the hull uh, a little bit closer together than most ships. And we have an ice belt, which is a basically a hull plating around the water line that is thicker to prevent the ice pressure from uh, causing damage to the hull. Uh, propulsion is generated by two massive electric diesel generators that power a 2,500 horsepower electric motor. So we have uh, good horsepower to control ratio. We can go from full ahead to full astern as fast as we need to. We also have this box here, which is called the bubbler. Uh, it's a system, uh, basically an air compressor that shoots bubbles out underneath the hull uh, we can direct this from either the port side or the starboard side or all around the ship. And what that does is the bubbles come up underneath the uh, hull and kind of reduce the friction between the hull and the ice to allow us to get through better.